Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. Uh, and today for Monday, uh, let's take a look at the gospel lesson that's assigned. Now, we did a lot of St. John's gospel last week. We talked about the raising of Lazarus and the Pharisees and the chief priests uh, beginning to make plans to arrest Jesus. Now, this week, for the third week in Lent, we actually jump into St. Mark's gospel. Uh, and so we're already just going to jump right in at chapter 10, uh, beginning at verse 17. And when he was gone forth into the way, there came one running and kneeled him and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, and that is God. Thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Defraud not. Honor thy father and thy mother. And he answered and said to him, Master, all these things have I observed from my youth. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him. And said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go thy way, sell whatsoever thou hast, and give it to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and take up thy cross and follow me. And he was sad at that saying, and went away grieved, for he had great possessions. And Jesus looked around him and said to his disciples, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of heaven? And the disciples were astonished at his words. But Jesus answereth again and saith unto them, Children, how hard it is for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of heaven. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And they were astonished out of measure, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? And Jesus, looking upon them, saith, With men it is impossible, but not with God. For all with God, all things are possible. Then Peter began to say to him, Lo, we have left all and have followed thee. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that hath left house or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospels. But he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands, with persecutions, and in the world to come, eternal life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last first. Okay, hard, hard saying, isn't it, right? Um, so here we have the example of this rich man, and a lot of folks like to say, well, why doesn't the church require everybody to sell everything and give it to the poor and come and follow him? But if you notice, there's only one person in all the gospel that Jesus says exactly that to, right? He looked at him and he diagnosed what that man's needs was. What was his needs? He trusted in his possessions. He felt that his, his pot, you know, he loved him. He, this was a man who was trying to live after the commandments, but he knew there was one thing that was lacking, and that was he trusted in his possessions. He loved his possessions more then he loved the chance of eternal life through Jesus Christ. And Jesus says the diagnosis for him was to sell everything and give to the poor. But then he, he goes on to give a general diagnosis as well. And the fact is that it's hard for us to give up stuff. We like stuff. We like having stuff. I like stuff. Look at all this stuff I've got here. All these, oh my gosh. Clergy seem to think the way into heaven is, is, is if you have enough books. God help us. Right? Of course that's not how you get to heaven. Eternal life is a free gift from God through Jesus Christ. I, I can't let these things define me. I can't let stuff define me. And I can't have my trust in stuff. My trust is in Jesus Christ. And I have to be willing to let go of all of this in order to be with him, if he so calls. We can't decide to make money our end-all and be-all. Possessions our end-all and be-all. Our end-all and our be-all. The ultimate good is faith in Jesus Christ. So today's Monday, uh, 12, uh, 15, Holy Communion, 5 o'clock evening prayer. And then God, God willing, we'll see you in church. God bless you.